Hello guys, Björn here with my R2 unit called Tönchen and I'd like to show you a couple of things that I've done recently with Willow Garage's operating system ROS. Um, to recapitulate, in my droid I have motors with wheel encoders in the feed, I have a Kinect sensor in the large data port, I have an Arduino in the body that's um, whose responsibility it is to control the drive system and all the servos and the dome of course and I have a PC up here in the dome that runs Willow Garage's ROS and is connected to the Arduino through a slip ring mounted between the dome and the body. So, um, the main things that I've done is um, put in voice recognition based on CMU Sphinx which comes with ROS um, and put that into the droid and I've also experimented a bit in what you could do with the Kinect for an interactive droid. So, let me demonstrate. Hello R2. Do you remember Princess Leia? Do you remember Darth Vader? like him. Please give me your hand. Please give me your hand. Thank you. Please follow me. So the way the follow me works is basically Please stop Please stop Please stop Got quite a temper, the little guy So the way the um, people following works is basically I'm using the Kinect to create a laser scan from the 3D data and you can see me walking in front of the droid And he tracks the closest segment found in that laser scan. You can see me in front there, green right now, turning bluish. And he's basically tracking that segment and following it. Please follow me. Please stop. Okay, and here's one more thing that you can do with ROS is simultaneous localization and mapping or short SLAM. It's basically creating a map of free space marked in bright gray, unknown space marked in um, medium gray and obstacles marked in black. And it's basically creating that from odometry, from the wheel encoders and the laser scan data it receives from the Kinect. updates the map kind of inf infrequently so it really likes um, very slow movements So that's basically the map that he creates. 
it's not quite perfect yet and I need to integrate the um, ultrasound sensors but I think we're going to get there.